We're going to be looking at the Dell M101Z. It's a brand new model from Dell. It's a slightly enlarged version of what is typically considered a netbook um, with some very interesting hardware to make it quite a bit faster and that's what we'd like to find out. Um, this has got the AMD dual core processor, 4 gigs of RAM, a 320 gig hard drive. Um, this is the better of the two versions that Dell offers so we're uh, opening it and I'm seeing it for the first time along with you. Bear with me as I get into this thing. Okay. Nicely packaged. Ah. Nice and small. Now I want to give you a note as I'm unpacking this. Um, this computer does not belong to me. It uh, actually belongs to my uncle. But uh, he's an amateur Christian fiction author and wanted to just have something that he could write with and uh, not have to be at his desktop computer. And uh, that didn't necessarily need an optical drive. So we settled on, I helped him pick it out though, so we settled on this uh, M101Z from Dell. There you go. Ah, brand new screen and a screen protector. One of the things I liked about this, uh, just looking at the specs, was uh, the fact that it had the chiclet keyboard. 92% of full size on the keys is what I understand. Uh, it is running Windows 7, but uh, I advised him to get the a little bit better specs. Like I said, a 320 gig hard drive. The main thing is the dual core. It'd be great if it was an, in, uh, an Intel chip, but I think for what he's doing, uh, word processing, that kind of thing, it's gonna be fine. Um, four gigs of RAM, shared um, video memory, but again, four gigs of RAM. That should be plenty on a, on a computer like this. Closer look at the ports. You get your Ethernet, HDMI, which uh, might be good for a student. Stream Netflix to your uh, HDTV. Of course, uh, USB on this side. And uh, yeah, you know, something I forgot before. Here's a an SD card slot for a photographer for putting your pictures on your computer. I said the back is fairly sparse as is normal these days. You got your VG out, VGA out, and a lock. Uh, your power and a couple of USB ports, uh, microphone, and headset. Just like I said, no optical drive. This must be the uh, Obsidian Black case. Looks really nice. Uh, battery's got a slight bump here. You can see. It's really, it's a, it's a nice size. Um, let's see if the battery is charged. And if so, we'll get it fired up. Besides the power adapter in the, in the box, uh, there's a setup guide, just the typical stuff. There's also uh, reinstalling the webcam software disk and uh, a little information bulletin. Typical stuff that's in uh, new computers. Let's see what's on the screen. We are running Windows 7 Home Premium. Um, and it's going to just go through the typical Windows 7 setup. If you have any questions, let me know. But like I said, it's not my PC, so I will have to ask my uncle how it's doing for him. But uh, if you do have any questions, just leave comments. And I'll do my best to answer them. Have a good day.